Hello everyone, welcome to another Fox Tech video. This time we talk about Safari on the iPad. And some people are wondering, how do you go ahead and update Safari to the latest version? Because if you open up the App Store and look up some things like, I don't know, Google Chrome, you're going to see whether the update is available or not. So you can see Chrome, for me, it says update. So I can always just tap on it and get the latest version. However, Safari doesn't work that way. Safari, when you look it up, it is available on the App Store, but it never tells you to update. There are no updates inside of the App Store. It's an official app from Apple, but the way to update it is a bit different. Safari is in fact different because you cannot even like remove it entirely. If you want to remove it, you can only just remove it from the home screen. You cannot even delete it that way. So it's a very interesting thing. The way to update Safari is by updating the entire operating system. So the way that you have to do it is by opening up the settings and just simply coming back to the main section, get down to the general and tap on software update. So you can see this is going to load up any updates which are available. So after it checks, you can see that there is iPadOS 16.7 for me, or at the bottom, you can see iPadOS 17. And there is like a little description there. You can tap on the learn more button to find out more information about it. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. But you can even see from the quick description there that this update includes updates to Safari, among other things. So it's really good because you can always just get the latest version of Safari things available. If it's Apple Learn More, you can see Safari profiles keep you your browsing separate. For example, private browsing enhancements are included, one-time verification codes for autofill, new things are happening in Safari, but you can only update it. The point I'm trying to make is that you can only get the latest version of Safari by updating the entire iPad OS. So in case you want to update Safari, just get the uh, latest iPad OS and this is how it is going to work. So that's about it. That's everything what I wanted to tell you in this video. I don't want to drag it out any longer, but I want to say that make sure to hit the thumbs up and but definitely subscribe to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. I update you about all the problems and cover every single things which could happen to your devices. So in case you have any problem, just make sure that you're subscribed to the Fox Tech and we will see each other in the future. Peace out until then.